your 2024 Kick King winners, the Derby Trail Blazers. So the Derby Trail Blazers are a club with a winning past and a winning present. Fantastic achievement for everyone in the club. Great to see the guys perform the way they did on the big showcase day. To go and do it and have so many fans there was absolutely fantastic. The colour of the kicking trophy is royal blue. It's one of the things that we set out to do at the start of the year is win some trophies, right? Um, and we had so many supporters there with us as well. So it was great to get that win. And with the atmosphere they created, it felt like we were kind of giving back and saying thank you to them for supporting us all year as well. So it was amazing. A national trophy, another step in the right direction for the latest iteration of top-level basketball in Derby. The city that was once home to a fully professional side is gathering momentum again. When the BBL franchise folded in 2002, I think it's just been since then rebuilding, getting back to where we are now and we're desperate to move forward and take bigger steps. To do so, the Trailblazers need to find a new home. They've got hundreds of kids on their waiting list to play the game, and they're often oversubscribed for home fixtures. A new venue would pave the way for the next generation of stars and could pave the way for a return to top-flight British basketball. You've seen how we've played so far in Division 1 and in previous years against BBL teams as well, so you can really see we can compete at that level. Um, so it's just making sure we try and push for that, but I think the potential is definitely there. There's definitely a feeling within the group that if we just won one bit of silverware, it's not enough. We've got a team that's capable of doing more. Fingers crossed if we can finish top, win that bit of league silverware and then go into the playoffs and take care of that, then it'll be a sensational season. Nothing sells like success and a trailblazer's treble would certainly sell in Derby. Charlie Slater, BBC East Midlands today.